Well, good evening to you. A day that couldn't come soon enough for the UT football team opening their 2011 season with a new identity eager to redeem themselves from last year back on the field for the first time since Thanksgiving, 282 days ago. Mac Brown basically rebuilding from the ground up. They were home to Rice. Al starting quarterback Taylor McHarg of Vista Ridge High School product able to put together an early drive that led to the first points of the game. Chris Boswell from 42 yards out was true. It was 3 nothing Rice. Longhorns were slow to start, and then new coordinator Brian Harson lets Garrett Gilbert open up the offense a bit. Little play fake deep for Mike Davis, their most seasoned receiver. That would set up Justin Tucker, the senior out of Westlake, from 39 yards to tie it up at three. And then they catch a break on special teams as Xavier Webb back to field the punt has it slipped through his hands and Adrian Phillips, the first Longhorn downfield to pounce on it. They use a couple of trick plays to get close and then turn it over to big Cody Johnson on the goal line to punch it in. 10-3 Longhorns, 13-6 at the half when Rice comes out. Second half firing again, this time Tyler Smith, the senior out of Cedar Park. Couple nifty moves to bounce outside, sets up another field goal with this run to pull within four, but wow, there's just something new on every page of this playbook. David Ash, in at quarterback, runs the reverse to John Harris, who in turn airs it out for Jackson Shipley, and the younger brother of Jordan has his first collegiate touchdown. Fozzie Whitaker has added a pair of touchdowns late, and they are winning in style in the fourth quarter, 34 to nine. Most of you not able to see the game, so let's go live to Layla Rahimi at the stadium for more on this new look Longhorn team. Layla? Hi, Brian, and the thing that comes to mind when you watch this game is what Brian Harson insisted in the offseason and also in fall camp, that if he had a player who succeeded, he would find a way to get that player on the field, and that has certainly happened tonight. Take, for example, the two touchdowns by Fozzie Whitaker, one of them a direct snap where he ran in seven yards, that in the fourth quarter, and then also the other one, a pass from Garrett Gilbert, and that was a 26-yard play. Nine different players for Texas have caught passes in this game. Certainly a new opened up offense. We also saw lots of freshmen. You mentioned David Ash. Malcolm Brown has seen a lot of time in the third and fourth quarters, and he has been greeted to big time cheers by the crowd here at DKR Texas Memorial Stadium, who has stayed to see what this new team can do. So certainly a lot of weapons, and we can't forget maybe the most important stat of all aside from the 34 points. Texas has 472 yards of offense, and that has got people talking as well. Well, we're live here from DKR Texas Memorial Stadium. Layla Rahimi, KXAN News. Not a bad start. Next up for Texas is BYU. Thought at one time to be a front runner to replace AM in the Big 12, but new information today that Texas, OU, Oklahoma State, and Texas Tech are in talks with the Pac 12 about forming a new mega conference. The Oklahoma newspaper reporting today that Pac 12 Commissioner Larry Scott has been in contact with the schools. The move would essentially mean the end of the Big 12 league. OU President David Bourne added yesterday that they expect to make a decision on their future future affiliation within weeks.